A Warwickshire firm's developing virtual reality technology to help train firefighters investigate the causes of fires. It's hoped the realistic scenes will save forces money in the long run. It's already generating interest from abroad. Joan Cummins reports. On a business unit in Southam, a technological revolution is taking place. Using the reality of specially created fire scenes, virtual reality is being used to develop training for crime scene investigators. Again, we can move towards a sofa. We can evidence the sofa. And that can go out, and now you can see a perfect protection pattern on the wall where the sofa was. So we know there was nothing burning behind the sofa. Jason has been a firefighter and fire investigator for more than 25 years. He's passionate about training firefighters to detect fire causes and thinks the recreated interactive films will help. You can't replace the real thing, but you've got to start somewhere when you start your training. If we can't, we can't have lots and lots of fire scenes that we can train people with. What we get is what we get. Fires happen when they happen and we deal with them when they come. Whereas VR, we can make those scenarios appear any time to any number of audience and we can give them a taste of what it's like to be a fire investigator. Trainees, in this example me, are fitted with a VR headset and a handheld device allows you to handle items in the scene. Initially it can feel a little weird. So walk forward, just slowly, <laughs> so slowly step forward. Employing 14 people River say their materials are currently being evaluated by two fire services in the country and say six American brigades have expressed an interest in bespoke scenarios. We're taking every single item out of a container and scanning it from every angle, underneath, on top and all around, so that we can then place it back into the scene and give the people the ability to pick up every single object. So it's photorealistic environment, but every item is interactable. The firm say whilst virtual reality training may not be as lucrative as game designs, it's changing the way we learn. Joan Cummings, BBC Midlands, today, Southam.